Are you a painter that uses company cam for your projects? Well, have you wondered how company cam works on the new Apple Vision Pro headset? Well, I'm gonna dive into company cam on the Apple Vision Pro and look at what is possible and what is not possible with the Apple Vision Pro. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Chris. I'm the owner of Boolean Automation, where our mission is to free you up to do what you love. We work specifically with painting contractors, painting companies, marketing managers, operations managers, owners, to eliminate the busy work in your business. Data entry, duplicate data entry, streamlining lead flow, estimating processes, all that stuff. And so technology like the Apple Vision Pro is very interesting to me because I see where this is going and I'm very excited about the use cases of this. So if you're a painter that's looking to be more efficient, Please like the video, subscribe to the channel because this type of content is for you. Now let's get into this video of company cam on the Apple Vision Pro. First thing that you're going to notice is that if you go to the App Store and I search company cam, when I search company cam, you'll notice there's not an Apple Vision app, but there is the iPhone and iPad app, which I have installed here. So when I open this up, first thing that is crazy, and this is something that you'll get used to with all of the Apple Vision apps, like when you're, whenever you're using something, this is just nuts. Like you can carry this around with you and I can go walk into my office out here or my shop. And when I come out here, you'll see, let's get rid of that alert. I'm now looking at company cam on a gigantic iPad, basically right here in my shop. So let's say I'm doing a paint estimate here. I could have paint scout pulled up over here or any other browser based estimate tool. And I've got my company cam here. So first thing I want to know, if I go in here and try to just take a picture, so I'm gonna to go to this test Apple Vision. One thing I'm noticing right away, there's no camera access to the camera that is in the headset directly. So none of these walkthrough not supported, video not supported. So that's kind of interesting. I'm not able to directly take photos through the company cam feature. However, what I can do is take a picture from, so from here, I can just click photo. So I'm tapping on the, my headset right now, taking photos around. I could also, let's go ahead and try and do a video. So I'm going to record a video walking around here, looking at the different stuff. Okay, great. I stopped recording. Now I want to go back to where I was. So now I'm back in company cam. There's company cam here. Um, I'm going to click done on the top of company cam. All right. So I'm going to click into the project and instead of going to the camera, which didn't allow me to do anything, I'm gonna look at that plus button, click upload photo. I can go to the photos that I just took. I got these videos, easy enough. And I'm uploading four photos and a video. It looks like that video is not being selected. That's interesting. I'm gonna click done. So it's uploading those, I click upload. Three uploading, great. Now I'm gonna go back to that, upload photos. So I can upload a video as well. There we go. Upload photos. Okay, so I've got the video and the photo taken in there as well. So that's cool. What else uh, do I need to be able to do in here? If I was looking at uh, other photos or other projects, I could go in quickly, look through these photos, very intuitive swiping through that, that works great. I can tag photos just like I would on an iPad. So that's interesting. Uh, I can leave a comment. Let's try that. Test comment. And by the way, this is just like, this blows my mind. Look at this. It's a keyboard floating in space. What the heck? Test comment return. And let's go ahead and minimize that. So I just left a test comment. I can hit post. There's my message. Close out of the uh, that. Hide in timeline, move project. Perfect, and I could actually, can I share this like with a homeowner right away? So I close out of this, go look at that, share, yes. And I wanna text, go ahead and hit send. There we go, just shared that. And yeah, I mean, from what I can see here, I think company cam does work. Like I said, it would be nice if company cam built out the integration so I could take photos directly from my headset and upload it. But outside of that, 
I can literally just do whatever recording I was going to do and then upload all those photos. So that does work well. And then, like I said, uh, if you've seen, I'll post a link to another video where we had Paint Scout doing an estimate on Paint Scout in the Apple Vision Pro. But you couple that with some measuring tools, company cam, and you can do your whole job inside of this instead of on an iPad. That's pretty crazy to me. All right. So what do you guys think? This pretty crazy company cam does work, doesn't have the native feature to upload or take photos directly from Apple Vision directly into the app. I think that's because it's an iPad app at this point. Who knows, maybe company cam is going to be coming out with an Apple Vision app specifically that would give more functionality. You can take a bunch of photos and then go back and upload them in the app and you just can't take the photo directly through company cam. So kind of a, a weird quirk, but it does work and all the other functionality is there just like you'd see on an iPhone or an iPad. So I think that's pretty sweet. Let me know what you found interesting in this. What else do you wanna see on the Apple Vision Pro? How else are you looking at using technology to make your painting business more efficient? That's what we do here at Boolean. Our goal is to free you up to do what you love. My name is Chris and we'll see you in the next video.